Before the meningococcal disease, Benjamin was a little boy full of life. He was strong, healthy, he had all his limbs. Then, at four and a half months, that's when our life was turned upside down. It was 1999 on the night of June the 1st, and Benjamin had a very high fever the whole night. Then that same evening, Benjamin developed blue bruises all over his body. So we took him to emergency at a hospital in Montreal, where a diagnosis of severe type B meningococcal meningitis was then confirmed to us. Invasive meningococcal diseases are very severe infections that are caused by a bacteria called meningococcus. They can affect any organ or part of the body, including the brain. So meningococcus belongs to a large family of bacteria with several groups, including serogroups A, B, C, X, Y, and W135. Anybody is at risk of developing a meningococcal infection. But there are certain groups who are at higher risk of infection, including babies, children under five years of age, and also teenagers. Benjamin experienced some of the most serious effects of this disease in the world. He underwent a triple amputation. He had to learn how to eat, drink, and walk all over again. Our life completely changed. We had expected to have a simple, normal life, just like everyone else. Back then, I didn't have an option to vaccinate Benjamin against meningitis B. Today, with all the expertise and the research, I think it's important to make use of what we have available to us, like the meningitis B vaccine. Our life would have been very, very different. The vaccines against meningococcal disease are safe. In Canada, we have a very rigorous pharmacovigilance system and vaccine safety is a priority. Today, each province and territory has an immunization program against meningococcal disease. But even though we have two vaccines against serogroup B, right now there's no universal immunization program against type B meningococcal disease. Benjamin is 21 years old now. He's the eldest of our five children. Benjamin is a kid who's extremely social. He has a zest for life that's just contagious. The best advice I can give to parents is to listen to professionals. They are trained and qualified to answer your questions, so don't hesitate. That's their job. I would urge all parents to talk to their healthcare provider about the vaccines available for the different types of meningococcal disease, including the serogroup B vaccine. At 21, he's had 57 surgeries and he still has a smile on his face. He's so easygoing. My God, he's the light of my life. It's important to check with your healthcare professional and make sure you're up to date with your vaccination schedule so you can prevent meningitis B and other types of meningitis. 